My name is Nick Kumalatos, and I'm a filmmaker. Wait, stop. That's not how you tell a story. I'm a former Marine Raider. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Wait, stop. Further back. Okay, I'm seven years old. My mama is working to support my little brother and I. She just so happens to be a writer, but this is before all that. She doesn't have much time with us, so she likes to take us to the movies. My first movie was Ghostbusters. Scared the crap out of me. We watched Miami Vice. I wanted to be Don Johnson. I saw MacGyver. I wanted to be MacGyver. I even got the haircut. Then I saw Rambo. I wanted to be Rambo. But then Batman. That was it. I wanted to be Batman. So at seven years old, my training began to become Batman. Nope, not that Batman. Not that one either. Yep, that Batman right there. I started to grow up and life took over. I never stopped loving those movies and let's be honest, wanting to be Batman. You see, throughout my life, I always believed in the power of good over evil. Fast forward to me at 18, I decided to join the Marine Corps. Went to a recruiter and they said, what are you thinking kid? You did drugs, you were in a gang, you've got a felony, you don't have enough education. Denied, 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 denied. The worst thing they could have told me was no and I showed them and I got my shot. I went to Marine Corps recruit training in Paris Island. And then, boom, on training day seven, I broke my wrist and I had to go sit in a rehab platoon. I was crushed. Everything I had worked for, and here I am. That's okay, I got smarter, I got better, I took the time to train, I ended up going back to training and graduating company honor man. But that wasn't enough, I wanted more. And I met this guy, he said to go recon. I said, finally, I'm gonna become Rambo. Yes, I know he was a Green Beret. Then these guys showed up. I said, yep, that's where I'm going. And I finished my career basically being Rambo. So when I left the Marine Corps, I started a company called Survival Tactical Systems. Businesses needed marketing and I had to make videos. Pretty soon, other people were asking me to make their videos. I didn't like it, it was uncomfortable, but the more I did it, the better I got at it. Then this happened. Discovery called and said, hey Nick, we want you to be a trailblazer. We want you to lead a team of scientists down to the Bolivian jungle and find an ancient crocodile and get its DNA. Sounded weird, but I said, hey, it could be good marketing for the business. My big break. Then they wanted me to fill out all this paperwork. I was super busy and I said, this is ridiculous. No thanks. Then this girl, Miss Capra, filled it all out for me. I got the job, flew to Bolivia, Bolivia it's in South America, met the director, the producers, the scientists, and we started filming. This was it. I had an epiphany. This was it. This is what I was supposed to do. After all the things I've been through, I found something that I was super passionate about. This is what really lit a fire in me. You see, the first day on set, I was helping produce and direct an episode, and I absolutely fell in love. This is my call. But then this happened. Damn it. Oh. I sliced myself open. It was like finding out the meaning of life and then dying immediately after. I was crushed, devastated, ruined, my big break, and it just slipped through my hands. You see, I just found something I love, and it was literally gone as fast as I found it. So when I got back, I started filming. I started filming everything. I used my iPhone. I used a camcorder. I just started filming. And then I met this guy. Wait a minute, you can just do this yourself? You can just make movies and put them on the internet? My life has been one hard long road, one of perseverance through adversity, overcoming hardships, battling evils we face outside and inside, but I made it, I'm still here. So now my passion, my purpose, my drive is for storytelling. And I am learning new things every single day. My life has changed, it's turned upside down, and I finally know what I want to do. I will continue to create, I will never stop creating. Who am I as a filmmaker? Or is it just who I am?